everyone how have you been well today we're going to share uh, a story about the good samaritan it's taken from the book of luke chapter 10. one day uh, a jewish law um, expert he's an expert in the jewish law he came to jesus and he said to jesus jesus what must i do to inherit eternal life and Jesus said to him well what does it say in your book and so the man said well it says love the Lord with all your heart with all your soul and with all your strength and love your neighbor as yourself so the man said but how can I do that so Jesus replied with a story and the story goes like this there was a man the man was walking along the road and as he was walking going about his business some bandit came to him they attacked him they beat him they 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 completely beat him to the point that he was he became unconscious and he was lying on the floor all by himself on the floor and those bandits, those villains they ran off so one man and uh, 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 a Pharisee was coming and he saw the man lying on the floor but when he saw the man rather than going to the man he went to the other side another worker from the temple who is meant to help people he too was passing by he saw the man lying there instead of going to help the man he also passed the man and then another man who was not from the from from working in the temple who was not a leader who was just a Samaritan a Samaritan that was not even regarded by the Jewish people he saw this man lying on the floor he went to the man he he bandaged the man he used olive oil clean his wound and then he took this man to an innkeeper and gave from his own money, from his own pocket, and he said, please take care of this man for me. And then Jesus said to this man, this law, the man from who is a, an expert in the law, asked him, so who has done the right thing? And the man who was the expert in the law said, the good Samaritan, the man who took the, the, the sick person into the inn. So children, Rebecca Alice is going to read it to us from the book of Luke chapter 10. One day an expert in religious law stood up to test Jesus by asking him this question. Teacher, what shall I do to inherit eternal, eternal life? Jesus replied, What does the law of Moses say? How do you read it? The man answered, You must love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, all your strength, and all your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. Right, Jesus told him. Do this and you will live. The man wanted to justify his actions. So he asked Jesus, and who was my neighbor? Jesus replied with the story of a Jewish man. Jesus replied with the story. A Jewish man was traveling from Jewish Jerusalem down, down to Jericho, and he was attacked by bandits. They stripped him he stripped they stripped him of his clothes, beat him up, and left him half dead beside the road. By chance a priest came along, but when he saw the man lying there, he crossed to the other side of the road and passed him by. A, t 
temple assistant walked over and looked at him lying there, but he also passed on the other side. Then a despised Samaritan came along, and when he saw the man, he felt compassion for him. Going over to him, the Samaritan soothed his wounds with olive oil and with olive oil and wine and bandaged it and bandaged them. Then he put the man on his own donkey and took him to an inn. Where he took care of him. The next day he handed the innkeeper two silver coins, telling him, Take care of this man. If his bill runs higher than this, I'll pay you the next time I'm here. Now, which of these three would you say was a neighbor to the man who was attacked by bandits? Jesus asked. The man replied, the one who showed him mercy. Then Jesus said, yes, now go and do the same. Hallelujah. Children, um, uh, Sophia, so what do you think? Who was the good Samaritan in here? Who was the good person in here? The good Samaritan was the person who took care of the, of the one who was poorly ill. Exactly. And children, what do you think in our days we can do to be like the Good Samaritan? I think we can be kind. Um, we, can, we can try to preach to someone. We can try to pray for someone. We should, um, we should always try. If they're not yet a Christian, we can hold them again. We can always try to help them to give their life to Christ. That's wonderful. What about you, Sophia? What do you think um, in our days can be a good Samaritan? I think a good Samaritan is a person who is willing to take care of the community, who, who helps charities, who's not, who doesn't just help charities for the sake of it, but also thinks about um, the people who need the help and is considerate, compassionate, a person who looks after people in a way no one else will. A person who cares about a person who cares about everyone's problem. A person who knows how to take take good advice and keep it and use it for such bad things. A person who yeah, fine. that's awesome, children. So, a good Samaritan is a per someone who is kind. God wants us to be good to uh, what our neighbors. And our neighbors doesn't mean the people who just live close by. God wants us to be kind and good to everyone. Everyone. God wants us to be kind and be there for anyone we see. Is it in school? If you see someone being beaten, what do you do? Do you pretend you've not seen it or do you join in in the gang? Is it in the playground? What do you do? Is it in the supermarket? Is it in, in your leisure activities? Where? Where? Whenever you see someone in need, for example, now the coronavirus is around and a lot of people are in need. Is there anything you think you can do to help people around? That is a good Samaritan. A good Samaritan is someone who loves their neighbor. God said, love the Lord with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. Would you like to be the person who has been beaten in the, in, in the playground or been bullied or been called names? Imagine if someone is calling you names in a class. How would you feel, Sophia? Mm -hmm. And I feel like no one cares for me because I'm I'm very sensitive and I feel fragile. Okay, and and favor. How would you respond if you see someone being bullied like that? Well, I'd I'd be very sad as if someone was bullying me mm -hmm. because we're um we're we're um. We should all look out for each other and when other people don't look out, look out for another person, it makes me feel quite sad and, and it makes me feel 
That's excellent. So in this in this our life, we all need to be good Samaritan. Care for one another. Like Sophia was saying, she wouldn't like to be bullied. She will feel sensitive. She will feel really hurt. And so we need to put ourselves in the shoes of other 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 people in the school, in the classroom. Um, in our playground, if you go to football, uh, on the football pitch, if, if you, uh, a, you go to dance school, wherever you are, always look out for how you can be a good Samaritan and love your neighbor as yourself. God bless you. As you go this week, look out for ways you can be a blessing to someone. God bless you.